look, it's Boardwalk Empire Town and Country. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Lawless. We got a chance to make a good stack of money here. Pure corn whiskey, so white lightning. It's impressive. I respect you, Bon Rest. You want any more of this stuff? As much as you can bring me. I'm the one who's going to make your life real difficult from now on if you don't toe the line, country boy. I'm a bond around. We don't lay down for nobody. That's right, the third season of Boardwalk Empire doesn't start until September 19th. So if you're thirsty for the exploits of bootleggers during the 1920s, you just might want to buy a ticket to see Lawless. Like Boardwalk Empire, this flick is based on real-life criminals, this time the ancestors of writer Matt Bondurant, who were bootleggers in Virginia. Intrigued by Bondurant's novel, the road director John Hillcoat became attached and, after a bit of an uphill battle putting together the financing, the film adaptation was made. Now, originally, Lawless was going to have a box office shootout with another criminally artistic period film, Gangster Squad. See, that film was supposed to come out the very next weekend, but due to a scene where a movie theater is riddled with bullets, it had to be delayed for reshoots until January 2013. So all of a sudden, Harvey Weinstein finds his picture without any competition, but still not without obstacles. That would be Shia LaBeouf's mouth, the most dangerous half-cocked weapon in all of Hollywood. In a desperate attempt to distance himself from the Transformers franchise in Indiana Jones 4, or just because he simply lost his mind, over the last few months, Shia LaBeouf has appeared full frontal in an obscure music video, told The Hollywood Reporter that Steven Spielberg is upset with him, but that's okay because he doesn't respect Spielberg, and revealed that he'll star in Lars von Trier's latest film, actually having sex on screen. LaBeouf's excuse is that he only wants to do work now when he's terrified. But does that mean he also has to terrorize studio publicity departments? Speaking of terrified, LaBeouf apparently acted so strangely on the set of Lawless that his love interest in the film, Mia Wasikowska, threatened to quit. And he's telling people this. So the question is, can serious actors Tom Hardy, Jessica Chastain, Gary Oldman, and Guy Pearce compete with LaBeouf's antics? And can Hollywood compete with HBO? Let's go find out. So just like with the possession across the street, it is a very slow day at the movies. Hardly anyone is here to see Lawless, and those that did didn't want to talk about it. But I had one interaction which I thought I would share with you. Uh, a gentleman came out of the theater and he said, oh, it's horrible, it's a really bad movie. And we were like, oh, come, come talk about it on camera, share your review. And he said, ah, oh, I had to watch it, why would I want to talk about it? And I was like, so you can warn other people about the movie. And he said, let them suffer too. So. That's the word on Lawless. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok and hope it'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.